Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to cover garlic growing mistakes that you must avoid. Now, if you avoid these mistakes, you'll be able to grow garlic correctly and you'll be able to grow big garlic bulbs with a lot of harvest. Now, the main mistake a lot of people make is not planting garlic at the right time of the year. So the best time to plant garlic is in fall or autumn, which in Northern Hemisphere is September, October, or November, and in Southern Hemisphere is March, April, or May. It also depends on your zone, what kind of garlic you must plant as well. Now, most of the garlic that's available in grocery store is soft nut garlic. Now, the soft nut garlic has a much better shelf life. However, if you're in zone eight and below, you must plant hard nut garlic. Now, the hard nut garlic is best suited to grow in colder regions. Now, if you're in zone one to six, you must plant hard nut garlic no matter what. In zone seven and eight, you can plant soft nut garlic and hard nut garlic. But if you do plant soft nut garlic, you must prepare your ground really well and protect your garlic. However, in zone nine and above, you must only plant soft neck garlic. Now I get a lot of comments about what are these zones. Now these are planting hardiness zones that depend on the minimum temperature that your region gets in winter. The USDA website has a zoning chart for the United States. Now zoning charts also exist for Europe and other countries as well. So if you're not sure about what zone you're in or what zones are, I'll leave a link to the article that I wrote myself in the description of this video. Garlic likes to experience cold weather in winter to grow really big garlic bulbs in spring and summer. So if you're in zone 10 and above, and you don't get very much cold weather in the winters, you must refrigerate your garlic cloves in the fridge for four weeks. Simply break off the garlic cloves from the garlic bulbs. You can use grocery store garlic because it is soft nut garlic and that's what you'll be planting. Put the cloves in the refrigerator in October or November. After the garlic cloves have been in the fridge for four weeks, you can plant your garlic cloves out in the garden in November or in December. Now, if you are planting soft nut garlic and you're getting your garlic from grocery stores, make sure you buy organic garlic because conventional garlic might be sprayed with grow suppressants. So organic garlic might be a better choice if you're using grocery store garlic. Now, another mistake people make is planting small garlic cloves. Now, size doesn't matter in most cases. However, in this case, size does matter. So always use big garlic cloves to plant your garlic. Do not use small garlic cloves. Now, I did an experiment where I planted small garlic cloves and big garlic cloves. Guess what? the big garlic cloves did produce big garlic bulbs as compared to the small cloves. Now another mistake people make while growing garlic is not using the proper growing medium. Now you must use loose soil to grow garlic since garlic grows underground. The garlic likes at least six inches of loose soil, not as much as carrots and other vegetables. So about six inches is enough, which you can easily achieve by raised beds or even berms or you can even use cardboard boxes to grow your garlic. Now this time I'm using cardboard boxes to grow my garlic and let's see how that turns out. Now about the growing medium. I use about 70% of my native soil and 30% compost. Now if your soil is really good, you can just use 100% of your native soil to grow your garlic. However, if your soil is really poor and you have a lot of gravel or stones in your soil, use more compost to grow your garlic. Now garlic loves organic matter, not as much as carrots and other vegetables. However, if you do provide organic matter to your garlic, you'll get much bigger garlic bulbs and much bigger harvest. Now garlic is also a heavy nitrogen feeder, so you must supplement your growing medium with fertilizer. Now I use an organic fertilizer. The NPK ratio of this fertilizer is 442, which is four parts of nitrogen to two parts of phosphorus to two parts of potassium. Now a lot of people have mentioned what brand of organic fertilizer that I use. Now this is a local pelleted chicken manure fertilizer. Now you can find this organic fertilizer or many other kinds of organic fertilizer in your local stores or local nurseries. The brand really doesn't matter as long as it has OMRI seal, which means it's organic and it has correct NPK ratio. That's all that matters. However, I will link to two to three different organic fertilizers in the description of this video if you're interested. However, buying locally is always recommended. Now I apply about one pound of this organic fertilizer, which is about half a kilogram of this organic fertilizer in about two square feet of area. So this cardboard box is about two square feet. So I'm applying about one pound of this organic 442 fertilizer, which is about half a kilogram of this fertilizer in this cardboard box. However, if you're using chemical fertilizer, such as 16, 12, 10, or something like that, use quarter the amount of fertilizer as I'm using because they contain much more NPK ratio as organic fertilizers. However, I always recommend using organic fertilizers because they maintain microbiology in the soil and they're much better for the environment. Now cover your fertilizer with another layer of soil as well. Now you must fertilize your garlic twice, once at the time of planting and once in spring when the bulbs are forming. So in spring when you see the bulbs forming, fertilize one more time and use the exact same recipe. Now here's how you plant your garlic cloves which you might already know. 
plant the pointy end up and the flat end down. You must plant your garlic cloves at least two inches deep. So dig a hole, just use your hand or the back of the trowel and then just plant your garlic cloves right in there and make sure there's at least one inch of soil above the tip of the garlic. Now the best spacing for planting your garlic is that your garlic should be planted six inches apart and the row spacing should be about eight to 12 inches apart. Now that's how easy it is to plant garlic and it's maintenance free. You just have to make sure the weeds are not growing in there and it's natural pest repellent so you don't have to worry about very many pests either. Now after planting, water your garlic. Now if you get rain in the winters, you don't have to water your garlic at all. Now in spring and summer, you must water your garlic but keep consistent moisture in the soil. Let the soil dry out just a little bit before watering again. Make sure your soil is not waterlogged or you're not overwatering, and make sure your soil is not completely dry either. So maintain consistent moisture in the soil. Now one last mistake people make is just planting the garlic and leaving it like that, which you should not. You should always mulch your garlic, especially if you're in zone eight and below. I always mulch my garlic with leaf mulch, which does not have any seeds and it protects the garlic from the frost and the cold. So apply a healthy amount of leaf mulch right on top of your garlic. Now, if you're in zone six and below, you must apply straw or thick layer of leaf mulch at least six inches deep on top of your garlic. That will protect your garlic from the snow and frost. And in spring, when the snow starts to melt and when the snow thaws, the garlic will start to grow and you can start enjoying your garlic. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can avoid all of these mistakes and I'll see you in another video.